too crowded. Alright. Mm -mm, too small. Don't like this. Where's the space for me to write on this thing? This is a nice island. <sighs> I don't got space to write on this. Man, if only there was a compact Bible. Not too compact, but, you know, a good size. With white margins and large print for sure. But not too bulky either. Hmm. Here, my child. Huh? Receive. Welcome back, everybody. It's Pastor Jay, your Bible geek. And this week, I got a very, very nice Bible. If you guys want the best of about two, three, five worlds, whatever, you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, this Bible is definitely one that you're going to want to see, guys, because, I mean, it's going to have large print, wide margins. It's not bulky or anything like that. I mean, this is, this could be your daily carry everywhere Bible. Oh, yeah. So check this out. All right, here we go. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, the large print wide margin Bible in genuine leather by Crossway. Let me throw this out of the way. Huh. I'm kidding. It's right here. Uh, uh, well, I'll put it right there. Anyways, uh, here it is, ladies and gentlemen, which you guys have been wanting to see. Beautiful looking Bible. Look at that. Genuine leather. However, I'm pretty sure you're going to fall in love with this Bible, and you might even customize this to your own liking. This is beautiful. Holy Bible, ESV, English Standard, Crossway. Gorgeous looking Bible, my friends. Check it out. This Bible is Smithstone, ladies and gentlemen. It is Smithstone. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that right here. Uh, but it is my son, and you'll be able to see it as I open up this Bible. Beautiful, beautiful Bible. It is, once again, large print. As I open up this Bible, my friends, you're going to see that it is uh, paste down. No genuine leather that, I, at least from my knowledge, has ever been edge lined. They're all paste down. But again, this is a beautiful, beautiful Bible. Uh, before I forget, this does have only one ribbon, and it's a uh, single face satin ribbon single face satin ribbon yeah i think i'm always changing that in my videos i never know how to pronounce that but yeah anyways you're gonna have plenty of white paper not plenty but a couple of white papers and you get to decide what you want to do you can write your notes put pictures draw color whatever you want to do on this beautiful beautiful bible um and here's what i'm talking about how this bible is smite sewn look at that uh, and you want to get a Bible that's smite so not not uh, uh, that the spine is glued. I hate those. Uh, I can't believe that they would actually do that. But uh, that it's smite sewn, it's gonna last you a lot longer. The paper is not gonna be falling out. Uh, you're not gonna hold your Bible like this, and then all of a sudden you open it, and there goes the paper. And trust me, that's happened to me a lot. Uh, most of you guys already know, if you follow this my, my channel, you follow me, you know that my preferred translation is the NLT. I love the New Living Translation. However, uh, a lot of their Bibles, especially in the past, were glued, and I would go through those Bibles within like the first two weeks. The paper were falling apart, and it irritated me, my friends. It, it really did, but I'm so glad Crossway doesn't do that. They smite sewn everything. That is awesome. Here's your presentation page where you can fill it out if this is the Bible that you're going to keep, and I'm pretty sure you're going to keep it. If you don't already have this one, you're going to want to get one of these, and I'm telling you because you're going to get a little bit of everything in this Bible, which is awesome. It's just really, really awesome. Pretty sure you're going to want to keep this one. Trust me on that one. You got marriages, births, adoptions. Uh, dad now this paper was printed in china and if you haven't seen my video on the battle of the wide margins you want to check it out before you make your judgments on the paper that was printed in china 2016 text and i tell you that because in that video i show you how the chinese paper i wrote a lot of i wrote a ton of notes underlined did all these markings on an heirloom bible on an heirloom bible from a single column heirloom bible and their and their paper was printed in china guys and uh, you guys will see there how there is no bleed through whatsoever and a very minimal uh, see-through 
when I used the Cambridge one, you got to see there that there's actually bleed through and there's quite a bit of see through using Micron 005. So before you make your judgments, guys, uh, I defend Crossway on this. I mean, the paper on these editions are phenomenal. But moving on, yeah, you can, if you don't like that, you can let me know uh, in the comment section. If you do like that or you agree with me, then let me know. That'd be awesome. Here you have it. Nice, large uh, chapter. Uh, your verses stand out, and that's awesome. The font in this, I don't know if I told you or not, but this is an 11-point font. Double column, ladies and gentlemen. I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of single column. I'm getting used to them. But uh, this is double column. This is this is definitely my preference. I love the fact that the verses are bold and they stand out and there's some space between. Uh, they're, they're not stuck together where it says like here 14 and. Uh, there's a little gap. There's a little space, which is awesome. That's amazing. Let me get it closer to you guys so you guys can know what I'm talking about. Um, see, there's that little gap right there. They're not smushed in together. And you're going to see that throughout uh, the Bible, because that's the way the whole Bible is, my friends. So there's that. And so here you get a better picture of the margins. So you're going to have one inch on the sides, on the outer margins. You're going to have about half an inch on the inner margins, uh, half an inch or even smaller on top. And there's really nothing on the bottom, to be honest. I mean, there's a little bit, but I don't know what you're going to be able to do. Oh, well, yeah, you can. You can do quite a bit with that if you're using Micron 005. But look at the paper, guys. The paper is amazing on this thing man there's hardly any ghosting whatsoever that's what i don't get the whole beef about you know the oh my goodness crossway went with china and the paper is horrible and blah 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 I, I i don't get it there's hardly any ghosting in these things and this is just amazing so yeah like i said i defend a crossway on this uh, wholeheartedly because I mean I've seen what my writings my notes and all that stuff does uh, to a Cambridge one but yet to a crossway that's printed in China there was no bleed through and barely any see through on this uh, when you get to the New Testament uh, you're gonna see that it's all black letter edition not a red one it's all a black letter edition that's my preference if I'm honest Oh, with you. I mean, Crossway has done an amazing job on this Bible. Uh, 11 point font, large print, double column, versus standout, smile zone, one ribbon. But again, if you're falling in love with this Bible because you like to take notes, but you also don't want to sacrifice the print, guys, this is, you're getting a little bit of everything in this Bible. This is awesome. This is awesome. And again, if you want to customize this Bible for yourself, you can always uh, check out some of the guys on Facebook. Uh, the first one that pops to my mind is Cherry Hills a Bible, then Retreasured uh, Bibles as well. And then there's a brother by his name, Jeffrey, Jeffrey Rice, and he does awesome work I, I myself haven't been able to get one from him but everything that i see oh my goodness it's amazing so go check them out they do phenomenal work and i'm just letting you know this is the perfect candidate for one of those rebinds my friends this is amazing this is awesome now if you like the simplicity you know in this genuine leather hey go for it that's Hey, I'm not going to judge you. Nobody, don't let anybody judge you on that. That This is an awesome Bible because what really matters is the content and the insight. And so you're getting great Bible paper on this. You're getting nice bold verses, nice space to write some notes, not a whole ton of notes like a Schuyler white margin or a Cambridge white margin, but this is decent, ladies and gentlemen. This is very, very nice looking paper. And the awesome thing about this is that it's not a bulky Bible. It's not a bulky Bible whatsoever. It's a nice, it's light, and this could literally be your carry everywhere Bible. Beautiful, beautiful Bible. I'm going to show you before we finish off the maps on this. It's not this glossy paper. It's actually on a matte paper type. Very, very nice though. So if you guys are, you guys like the maps and stuff like that, uh, this is definitely going to be one that, that you're going to really enjoy. So uh, there you guys have it. This is a beautiful large print, wide margin by ESV. Now I'm going to make another video on this Bible. Trust me on that. Trust me on that because I'm going to write on this Bible and I'm going to compare this one with other ones that I have. Uh, so you guys can check out the, the way the paper is. I mean, it's good paper, man. It's awesome paper. So definitely, once again, here it is, my friends. The large print, wide margin in genuine leather by Crossway. Hope you guys enjoyed that. So with that being said, here we go. 
So my friends, if you like what you saw, do me a favor, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, like, comment, uh, share this video, tag somebody on it when you share it or anything like that. Go find it at christianbook.com, go to Crossway, go to Amazon, eBay, maybe somebody has it. This is a beautiful, beautiful Bible that trust me, you're going to really, really love if you want wide margins, if you want large print, if you don't want something that's too wide, if you don't want something that's too bulky, this is definitely it. And yeah, I'm going to have to do another battle of the wide margins. Let me know if you guys want to see some of that. All right. God bless you. Take care, my friends, and I will see you in the next one. Here we go.